Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. As usual, it's me Constantine and today in the world of indie games, we're going to be checking out a brand new game called Whatever Land. And this one is going to be a point and click adventure game, something that is going to be very, very special. And I am actually quite excited about it. Now, apparently this game is going to have multiple endings, multiple ways you can play the game as you do have some choices uh, as you're playing the game here that you guys are going to see as we keep on going. And uh, that is actually making me quite curious to see how the game is going to work and how the adventure is going to evolve as we're going to be choosing our own path. But that being said, guys, before we get this started, let me just take a quick moment here to thank the developer for providing a review copy to share the game with you all. And as usual, if you guys are interested in the game and want to grab it for yourselves, check out the links down below the description. Uh, the game is going to be coming out very, very soon, so uh, you can go ahead and wish us it right now. And with that being said, sit back, everybody, relax, and uh, let's enjoy a brand new adventure together. Let's do this. Forgive me, darling, but I must condemn you to an eternity of oblivion. After night will come day, after winter, spring. But the truth will remain unchanged. A man is a predictable short-lived creature, and therefore a weak one. Certainly you can come up with many excuses to justify what you're about to do. Whether it's jealousy, boredom, or arrogance, whatever pushes you to take the decisive step from this very moment, you will never be free of fear. You might think that this path is the easiest one to take. But I'm all too familiar with darkness, so trust me when I say that in time it will pull you in so deep you'll have no other choice but to drown. You have made your decision, and you will pay for it. Now only time will tell if it's already too late for you, Vincent. The question is, what happens next? This is exactly what makes men so weak. In their fleeting vanity, they always seem to fight the wrong demons. Tell me, is this all just a game to you? A source of amusement? Or have you perhaps chosen this path out of necessity? <laughs> Are you kidding me? She just wants me to choose now? Well, uh, it's just a game. I do what I have to survive. You know what? Let's just try to delve straight into the game and go with the awesome story. So let's go with I'll do what I have to survive. How interesting. Whatever it is you seek, I hope it was worth it. Assuming you even had a purpose to begin <laughs> with. Hmm, I seek nothing. It's all meaningless anyway. In fact, there is a goal that drives oh, me. Oh, darling. Your thoughts are yet unfledged. But then, so are you. Before we finally begin, let me ask you this. If you were given a choice between facing reality with all its hardships and being trapped in a pleasant, everlasting dream, what would you do? Oh, God. I choose reality. Reality is overrated. Give me the dream. <laughs> um, yeah, you know what? Reality is kind of overrated. So let's well, just go with the dream. Then so it shall be. <laughs> Love it. Man, the voiceover is just so good. I'm loving the voiceover of the witch here. <laughs> Are you seriously going to keep on laughing? Um, okay. There we go. Oh, look at that. Now, we are going to be transported into a very strange world by the looks of it. And uh, am I supposed to get out of this thing? Yes, I'm stuck inside the fridge. <laughs> there we go. What the? Oh, man, the game looks gorgeous, actually. I'm loving to play the uh, what did she art do style. Am I? It? This doesn't exactly look like purgatory. Where the hell am I? 
<laughs> awesome! And of course, it's teaching us how to play, but it is a point and clicker with a play playing point and clicks for all eternity. So, uh, yeah, we are gonna know exactly how to play this. But of course, if you press on space, you can see kind of things you can interact with. If you double click, you can run. And uh, if you hold, I guess you're gonna get options what you wanna do with them, right? So uh, let's just check out my this thingy. Picks. Oh, it's a lockpick. Let's grab it then. All right, here we go. I am loving the game though. Probably it looks really, work. really gorgeous. Probably doesn't work. Uh, what about this thing? I think I saw something move in there. Exactly. It's probably just a cat, right? Uh, I'm not getting any options to do anything about it, so I guess it was just a cat. I mean, the cat just ran off to the left side, right? So. Yeah, let's just see if we can find it. Kind of looks like we are inside some some sort of a uh, garbage it's area. A bad omen. Not that I'm superstitious, but still. A bad omen. Uh, can I grab the shoe? Yes, we can. As you guys know, point and click uh, adventure games are all about collecting stuff and using those things they're collecting so in. Saddened. I can tell from here. In different uh, puzzles. So uh, currently we have a shoe. Can I go to the left side? No, that's gonna be locked. Well, hopefully we can go to the right side then since I'm not sure exactly what I'm supposed to do with this. Or maybe I'm supposed to go into the inventory. Use the shoe with this, with the box? No, all right, let's keep going then. Ah, look at this character. Is anyone Man, the there? game looks gorgeous uh, though. Hello? Thank goodness. I thought I would die here. Can you let me out of this bloody thing? Yeah, <laughs> but it won't open without a key. Oh, that's just marvelous. This cuckoo bastard really meant it when he said he wanted to get rid of me. Can you get the key from him, pretty please? He should be somewhere near, working on this blasted machine of his. I mean, I do have the lockpick, so I guess I could use that to get him out, but uh, I just gotta find out what this is all about then first, right? I don't get any of it. Where am I and uh, what's going on? Hmm, listen, I don't really have time for a rescue mission right now. Why did he lock you up? Yeah, let's go with that. Why did he lock you up in the first place? And why should I let you out? That's not what's important right now. <laughs> well, I was looking for some stuff here, and this cycle just hates my guts. There's no other reason. Besides him being crazy, that is. <laughs> I won't hurt you, don't worry. Actually, I can help you. But you'll have to let me out first. Mm. I don't know if I can trust I'll this get guy. You out. Yes, thank you. This lunatic should be somewhere around here. You'll easily recognize him. Look for a huge machine made out of junk, but be careful. He's nuts. <laughs> all right, you can play this game whatever you want, but remember, all your actions have consequences. Steal, deceive, and wreak havoc. You're a thief, right? Help, cooperate, and fix things like a good boy. Follow the path it carries on your way to the whatever land. So apparently this game is gonna have uh, choices that matter. And of course, the choices we make are gonna have consequences. So I'm really curious to see how this is gonna go. Uh, let me have a chat with Harold, I guess. Um, do you have a moment? Who are you? I've never seen you before. Did you come from the sky? Did our goddess finally recognize my talent? <laughs> I... I don't think so. I just want the key that opens that cabinet. Can you give it to me? Then don't waste my precious time! I need to finish the helicopter as soon as possible! But I can't find the rudder. Huh. So he's trying to make a helicopter by the looks of it. If I find a rudder, will you give me the key? Or... Uh, yeah, let's go if with that. I find you a rudder. Will you give me the key? I'll think about it. I really need this rudder, though. <laughs> hmm, I have some questions. I have some questions. Alright, who, who is this goddess you were talking about? Or, why are you building a heli? Yeah, let's go with why are you why building a heli. Why are you building a helicopter? Rumor has it, our madam lives in a castle in the skies above. And that's exactly where I'm going to fly after my helicopter is finished. Once I prove myself worthy of her time, I shall become her obedient servant. Do huh. you have any idea how noble my cause is? Oh, of course you don't. You're just an uneducated brat. Now get lost. <laughs> well, who's this goddess who's you're talking this about? Goddess you were talking about. Are you mad? How can one not know Almighty Goddess, the One 
who created this world. Listen up, you nitwit. I shall <laughs> tell you the truth that nobody else has the guts to accept. How, madam, created this world to test our resolve and choose the most worthy of us to stay by her side and roam the earth for eternity. You'll hear people calling her the witch. But that just proves their narrow-mindedness. Hmm. Okay, well, um... I guess that's about it, because next up I'm supposed I'll to probably going. find the brother. Off you go. Now, my she question is... couldn't have been an actual wish, right? Maybe she dosed me with some weird stuff, and this is all just a hallucination. At this point, I sure hope it is. I'm guessing the goddess he was talking about is actually the witch. Yeah, correct. Uh, hold up, let me grab Why the cheese here. like cheese? What do you mean, buddy? Cheese is amazing. Hey! I love cheese. Don't touch my food! Aha, uh -huh. so I'm not gonna be able to grab his cheese because he's not gonna allow me to. Now, as I was saying, can I use the lockpick? Uh, to free this guy out? I could easily crack this. Not with that guy staring at me all the time. <laughs> Seriously, he doesn't want to do it because that guy is staring at him? Come on, dude. A helicopter made out of junk. What a brilliant idea. <laughs> Alright, uh, what about this robot, though? This guy looks this pretty guy neat. follow the three laws of robotics? Something tells me he doesn't. Uh, let me show them. Hey, robot. Hey, robot. Oh, wait, I'm what? Just repeat robot. what I'm saying. You are. I'm not a robot. You are. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Now I get it. Okay. Now you get now it. You get it. <laughs> what the heck, robots? Alright, um... What about the house? It looks like something out of a Slavic fairy tale. The hut on chicken legs, was it? Exactly. Exactly that's what I thought as well. I wouldn't risk going inside. Wait, what? Seriously? Come on. Hmm. Yeah, he doesn't want to go inside. In that case, let me keep her going. Let's see what else we can find. Maybe this cable car will get me out of this junkyard. <laughs> it is kind of weird that I'm not getting like some sort of an arrow whatever I'm pointing to the left or right side so that I know that I can go that way because apparently sometimes you cannot really go to the left or right side. To the clock. Hands up. <laughs> huh? I didn't get it. <laughs> Alright, so this one is apparently a station. A station. In the middle of a junkyard. Huh. Yeah, that is Very weird. Very minimalistic. I like that. Colors are overrated anyway. And right. there's a lever missing. Just mm. great. Alright, so we need a lever to activate this thing, apparently. And uh, we're not gonna be able to get this working without a lever. This will hold my weight, right? Should have done keto after all. <laughs> Alright, let's keep her going. Now, I'm not gonna be able to go to the right side, of course, because the cart is gonna be the one that's gonna take me there. So, what do I have in the inventory? I still have the shoe, though. Which I'm not quite sure exactly what I'm supposed supposed to use with. Hmm. Uh, apparently there's also a map we're gonna be able to access at one point, and maybe the quest lines on this side, right? But um, at the moment, apparently I cannot really access anything. So let me go back. As I am a little bit stuck, to be honest. Can I give this thing the shoe? No. What about give it to this guy? No. Hmm. Interesting. That smell is overwhelming. Hey! Don't touch my food! Alright, let me chat with Harold. Now that we uh, try to take his food, let's see what he's gonna say next. What now? Did you finally get my rudder? Not yet, I didn't find it yet. I have some questions. Let's get I'll going. Get going. Mm. Off you go. Actually, let me ask about the cheese, as I was saying. I may need that cheese to grab me whatever what was now? hiding in that box. Did the you left finally side. get my rudder? Oh. Alright, let's see. Uh, I have a question. I have some questions. Hmm. So I'm not getting any options, Why? unfortunately, Why? about Why? the cheese. Yeah. Alright, anyway, let's get out of here. Can I chat with this fella, or more like I try to interact with that thing? No, that but he's looking at me, of course. I'll get going. <laughs> Alright, buddy. I'll be back. I'll be back. Let me try to figure this out because there's something I inside think this I saw box. Something moving there. Yeah. Probably just a cat, right? Or more like a um, rat. Can I use this with this? No. Hmm. Yeah, look at that. What is that thing? That is not even a mouse. Huh. 
That was very, very weird. Hmm. What about the fridge? Am I officially Indiana Jones now? <laughs> no, you're not. All right. I was hoping that this thing would come out and I could actually interact with it, but but looks like it doesn't want to come out again. So let me keep on going to the left side. That's the rudder that weirdo needs. Ah, for his there we go. Now I need to figure out how to take it away from this creepy bird. Oh, it's right here. I, I saw it. Excuse me. What's with that look on your face? Scared much? <laughs> Am I really talking to a bird right now? How rude! First of all, I am not just a bird. I am a raven, a proud and clever creature from the Corvidae family. So show some respect. It is not my true form, of course, but I lost my human image a long time ago. Okay, I uh, guess I am talking to birds now. <laughs> Hey, I need that rudder that you're holding. My going Actually, insane. never mind. Aren't we're we going with something else. Aren't we all insane in some way? I'm not sure what's wrong with you per se. But if she sent you here, there must have been a reason. Hmm. What do you mean, it's not your true form? What do you mean, it's not your true form? I see you're new here. This world slowly changes everyone who ends up here, one way or another. It brings out your true nature. I guess I can be considered lucky. As I've seen people turning into horrible creatures or ending up disfigured for eternity. Hmm. Well, you know what, buddy? I do need your rudder, so I how am I gonna get it, that one there? Holding. Why do you need it? Oh, you're going to give it back to that uncultured fanatic, aren't you? <laughs> I won't give it to you. Dang it. All right, we're gonna have to convince this uh, crow to give it to us then. Or more like Raven. Hmm. I won't give it to him. I promise. I won't give it to him. I promise. How dare you lie to me? Get out of my sight! <laughs> Dang it, that didn't work. Hmm, alright, let's chat yes. with him again. Are you sure you can't give me the rudder? Are you sure you can't give me the rudder? Did I stutter? You're not getting it, unless... Unless... Hmm. What? There unless we go. you bring me something French, which oh, smells... He funny. wants the cheese. Ugh. That's really specific. That's weirdly specific. An artist's desires may be rather unconventional. Fine. I'll think of something. <laughs> Alright, so of course we gotta grab the cheese. Gosh darn it, dudes. This is not getting any easier, eh? Alright, let's keep it going then. Now, we gotta figure out a way to grab this cheese from this dude. Uh, so maybe I'm supposed to chat with him before I'm gonna be able to grab it. Although I am a thief, so I should be able to just steal it. What now? Did you finally get my rudder? No, but I found no, it. But I found it. Oh, really? Well, where is it then? A huge raven over there has your rudder. Addy? Uh, I knew that pretentious joke of a poet was going to try to interfere with my plan. What are you waiting for? Go get it! Well, I'll see what I can do. Or, you need this rudder, so you go get it yourself. Um. Yeah, let's you go that. need this rudder, so you go get it yourself. <sighs> you can't rely on anyone these days, can you? Whatever. Eddie had it coming for him anyway. Ah, there we go. So hopefully now that he's gonna leave, I'm gonna be able to grab the cheese, right? And I'm pretty sure he's not gonna be able to grab the rudder. Yep, he just left. All right, let's grab the cheese then. There we go, we got it. And I think I could also now go ahead and open up the um, lock since that dude is no longer next to us. Now, how the heck do I open this up? <laughs> huh. I got no clue how to open this up, to be honest. Uh, oh, you know what? Am I supposed to use... Ah, we gotta use the file because that's kind of the symbol that I'm seeing, right, on the file. And it's matching these ones over here. So first of all, we gotta get rid of that. There we go. Next up. Hmm, this isn't working. Oh, man, this is gonna be so interesting though, apparently, to unlock this. Next up, I think I need the X to get rid of the screws over here. There we go. This is so smart. Next up, we need this one to get rid of that. 
There we go. Yes. And now... Um... Do I need something else? Hmm... Not sure what I need. I'm probably gonna need this. This isn't working. Ah, there we go. We got it. That was pretty cool. Free at last. Nice to see that I was saved by a handsome young man. <laughs> Together we will be invincible. There we go. By the way, I'm Nikolai. But you can call me Nick. And you are? Vincent. All right, Vincent. Shall we start? <laughs> Alright, and of course, Nick is gonna be our friend for the curse of this adventure, and I'm really curious to see how this is gonna go. Uh, so what? Start what? Our journey to escape this place, obviously. Let's go somewhere nicer, and I'll answer all your questions. I'm sure you have plenty. Sure. Lead the way. Awesome! Look at that. Alright, let's get out of here. Uh, wait! This guy actually got his brother! He's able to escape. Are you kidding me? Oh God! It sounds like <laughs> How convenient. the hill is falling down. I hope he didn't need that. Wow. Well, let me go ahead and grab the rudder for myself then. Oh, actually, this is a lever, and I know exactly what I need the lever, right? Probably gonna need the lever for the uh, metro station. Just want to keep on going to the right side. And I think we're gonna have a chat as we go with the uh, cart here. But first, let me use the lever with this. Let's get out of here. There we go. And now, we can head on out. And use. There we go. Perfect. Now, will you tell me what's going on? I'll try to keep it short. You did something to upset Beatrice, didn't you? Well, the thing is that she's an ancient and powerful witch. So she sent you here, to a place where she throws away stuff she doesn't need, or people she can't stand. It exists in some kind of a weird loophole or whatever, so nobody can get in or get out of here themselves. Also, time works differently here, so nobody ever dies. At least not physically, if you know what I mean. So, people don't age here? It's just your soul that gets wrinkled, not your face. That's not too bad. <laughs> it's not too bad. For sure. Oh god. Oh my god, I think I'm getting stuck. Oh, it happens all the time. What do you think this bucket of rocks is here for? <laughs> Gosh darn it. Oh, a bucket of rocks? Wait. Am I supposed to just throw the rocks at those shoes? Yes, we are. <laughs> that was awesome. Yes, this place brings out the worst in people. And when they give in to their vices, which we all have plenty of, they begin to transform. In different ways. Yeah, I already talked to a bird. Is this why you have ghost legs? Bingo. <laughs> Some of us Bingo. get used to the changes. But I don't fancy becoming an actual ghost at all. And the worst part is that you can't predict these things. It just happens. Or doesn't. Alright, buddy, hold up. I gotta get rid of apparently the pigeons have here. Have you ever seen a baby pigeon? Because I haven't. <laughs> Isn't that weird? Maybe they're sacrificing them to some pigeon god. But then, why haven't they all died out? Questions, questions. <laughs> Love it. All right, let's give it up these ones. Get out of here. All right, we got more over here. Oh my god, are they seriously coming back? I guess I'm gonna have to be faster, to be honest. Whoa, that guy with the heli. Ah, that's what I needed. By the way, what did you do to piss off Beatrice? <laughs> I tried to steal some fancy. That was epic. From her. Thought she was just a lonely crone with a fortune, not an actual witch. Why would you do that? I'm a thief. That's what I do. <laughs> well, you better not steal anything here. Don't forget what I told you about this world bringing out the worst in people. <laughs> I love it that I I thought I was supposed to get rid of those pigeons, but no, the helicopter the helicopter had to show Come up on, and explode and scare them off. All right, get out of here, buddy. Oh, that's not gonna work though. How rude! Let's go, <laughs> Philip. Let's go, Philip. <laughs> that was um, epic. You were saying something about getting out of here. Oh, right. 
I already told you that nobody can get in or get out of here themselves. But there is, in fact, a way to summon Beatrice and graciously ask her to let us both out. Keep talking. A long time ago, Beatrice left a spell to the first inhabitants of this world, which allowed them to summon her. But humans are greedy bastards, so everybody wanted to have it for themselves. In the end, they tore it into pieces, and each of them took one. Everyone thinks it's just a legend. But I know the spell exists. We just need to get all seven pieces. Oh wow, That's there's gonna be funny. a lot of pieces. I could have crossed this ravine without the cable car. <laughs> I keep forgetting that I can fly. Exactly, because he can fly. No, I don't. <laughs> All right. Uh, so man. what's the catch? There's no catch. You see, I'm not very well liked here for a completely unknown reason, given my charming nature. Also, my semi-ghost situation keeps getting worse. That's why I need your help. Are you in? I'm in. I knew you were the one to get me out of here. Here we go. Oh, and uh, one more thing. Does this place have a name or something? Yeah. Ah, sure. It's called Whateverland. Whatever. What? <laughs> Whatever. Whatever what? Land. <laughs> and there we have it, guys. This is going to be uh, quite an amazing adventure, to be honest. I'm enjoying the writing so far. It's really, really well done. And the voice acting, top notch. Absolutely love it so far. And uh, I actually cannot wait to continue the journey here with uh, Nick and um, explore this world as much as we can. Now, apparently we have a very sad person over here. Let me go ahead and try to chat with them. Um, jumping spot, please don't jump. I still can't believe he oh, jumped like it what was the? nothing. Did he just? Yeah, Um, he We should help him. Um, sure, <laughs> why not? His shack is right under the bridge. Ah, oh, my dear Francois. When are you going to give up trying? <laughs> uh, because you cannot die here. That's why. Okay, okay, okay. Let me make my way down then and see uh, if he's okay. I'm guessing he's okay because apparently that's not the first time he did it. Oh, he's right over here. Oh, God. <laughs> Man, Francois, look at that. Hello. I just saw you jump from that bridge. So? I mean, <laughs> so? you're alive. Oh, you're new here, right? No one can die in whatever land. Sadly. Really? I already told you nobody can die here. Were you even listening? Oh. <laughs> yeah, you did tell me that. It's just not every day that people jump off bridges right in front of me. Don't worry. You'll get used to it. I wouldn't be so sure. Actually, Nick has a point. After a couple hundred years, you get used to the craziest things. A failed suicide will seem trivial soon enough. So, are you okay? Is anyone? Wait, don't answer. Sorry. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> Sounded way better in my head. I always say stupid things like that. Anyway, it depends on what you mean by okay. Physically, I'm more than okay, which honestly sucks. And if you're asking about my mental state, I don't think I was ever okay to begin with. Some people just aren't made for happiness, I suppose. <laughs> uh, hmm. Have you tried to stop uh, feeling sorry for yourself? Or, I know what you mean. However, bad you feel, killing yourself is never the answer. Let's go with, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. I hope you find something worth living for. Do you? I don't know whether I should feel happy about someone understanding what I'm talking about. Or sad that you had to go through something like that. I'm very bad with words. Sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'd like to be alone if you don't mind. Uh, sure. Take care. Hmm. Of course, we haven't really done anything right at the moment. But he does have a ton of things here we can interact with. What about this bottle? Poison. Was he poisoning the rats? Or... Nope. He was trying to poison himself, apparently. <laughs> Gosh dang it, dude. Was he poisoning the rats? Nope. Or... Nope. Nope. I already talked about this. He even has a rifle. I think he actually tried to shoot himself, but it's still not going to work. A rifle on the wall. Let's hope it never goes off on its own. Does that really happen? I don't know. <laughs> Just thinking out loud. Oh, okay. I should probably get used to it. All right. Uh, what about the Someone books? Someone has a nice taste in books. Huh. And a lot Was of poison there as well. The rats or... Man, he's got a lot of poison right here. Now, by the looks of it, um, we do have a lot of 
books that we can interact with, and of course, the fire. For some reason, looking at fire always made me nervous. What about the bull yarn? Can I grab that, I wonder? I'll find use oh. for you. There we go. What about the cage? Was there a parrot? Or a cannery? Or maybe even a goldfinch? <laughs> a goldfinch? What is that? Alright, let me take this path because apparently I do see some footprints. Ah, a fish! Is that a dead fish with a butterfly tattoo? Yes, it is. <laughs> ah, well, he does have a butterfly we know tattoo. Where the lower back of a fish is. This. <laughs> that was a joke. I uh, love it. All right, uh, why can I not grab it though? Come on, I really want that. An empty sketchbook. Someone's run out of ideas. Hmm. I don't really have anything to paint on it, so I'm not gonna be able to do anything about it. What about I'm the mirror? I'm not sure. I want to look at myself right now. Oh God. Okay, okay, okay. In that case, I believe we are completely done here for now. Probably gonna have to come back and pick up the um, fish later on, but for now, uh, this is a black mirror apparently, never mind. Let's keep her going. Let's see what else we gotta do here. Go right. I'd never guess. <laughs> Go right. I'd never guess. Now, there's a path to the right side. Is it? No. Okay, so apparently we only have to go inside the uh, bar. Bar arabesque. Oh, look at this place. Nick, there you are. I haven't seen you in weeks. Did you miss me? <laughs> you wish. Who's that with you? Oh, what this the heck? That's Vincent. an invisible man. He just <laughs> got here, so Walking don't boots. mind this whole lost puppy look. Vincent, meet Fida. The owner of this place and the most charming lady in Whateverland. Charmed. I'm sure I don't look like a lost puppy, Nick. <laughs> you do, actually. <laughs> but not like a sad, beaten dog. At least your face doesn't make me want to adopt you. <laughs> right. But I quite like this low-key, angry puppy look. You could say I already adopted him. No, you didn't. I'm not a dog. Yet. If you don't mind. I'll leave you to discuss your relationship alone. I have other customers. The ones that actually pay. Don't think I forgot that you owe me, Nick. But they're not your favorites, are they? <sighs> Vincent, <laughs> let's get to the table, shall we? Mm-hmm. All right, buddy. Man, this place looks uh, pretty crazy. Uh, hold up. A concert's about to start, or what? Just happened. Huh? Uh, I'm a little bit confused. Not sure what this is all about. Lucky you. Hmm. What are these? What are these things? Meet the Bukashes. A long time ago, they built this fancy prison for us. But we're friends now. All right, but why are they on my table? They've chosen you. Have chosen me. You heard me. They are your team now. Judging by the look on your face, you're not a teamwork kind of guy, but... Don't fret. They're professionals. Professionals at what? At playing Bell and Bones, obviously. You could say Bell that it's a game we play here. But it's not just a game. It's an essential part of any whatever lander's daily existence. Here, let me show you. So I'm guessing this is going to be like uh, some sort of a mini game. Ah, this is really cool. The goal. Get to the opposite side of the field with the ball and score a goal on your... Uh... With one of your spoons, I guess. Defend your spoons from, op op from opponent attacks. Straps the enemy Bukash with roots. Disable it from moving for one turn. Okay. Pushes Bukash's two hexes in the chosen direction. And in the smoke zone, the range of movement is reduced by half. And defend two spoons at once. Hmm. Not your lucky day. We got you covered. The Paw of Gods. Huh. Gather your balls all over whatever lands and call on the cat to win the match right away. Ah, we do have one though. This is interesting. I really want to play this to be honest, to be uh, to see what this is all about. But I'm a little bit confused how to play it. Let's just see. Let's just see how it goes. So I'm gonna be guessing we gotta move our pieces. There we go. I guess um. Do that. Enemy turn. Huh. Yeah, I'm currently unsure how to play this, to be honest. Ah, you 
can push him back with this one. I get it now. I should not have moved away, but that's fine. Let's just go over here. And with this fella, I want to go a little bit closer. And use the vine on this fella. I cannot use the vine on anybody, actually. Ah, there we go. Awesome. We caught him with the vines. Interesting. Alright, let's go. Oh god, he's pushing me back. Ah, he gave him something. He gave me a ball, right? And that made him a little bit better, I think. I'm not so sure what happened there, but... Uh, let me use this. I did not want to move out of the way. <laughs> Uh, uh, you know what? They have the ball. That's what's happening. Ah, and now I have the ball. I get it. Aha. Uh -huh. I think I understand how it works, to be honest. Oh, no. They have the ball. Never mind. And now they gave it to this fella. He passed it along again. Hmm. Interesting. I gotta figure out how to grab the ball from them. How do I grab the ball from them? I think I got a ball now. And I'm gonna throw it to... My buddy over there. And guess what? I'm just gonna move. Awesome. So all I gotta do is just place the ball on the spoons. That's how you win. I get it now. Absolutely get it. Right. Um, this fella's gonna go right on ahead just to block the area. And unfortunately, I cannot use the smoke or anything. I cannot use any ability, right? Okay, and and turn. I ah, now they're coming back for me, of course, because they want a ball. I get it. I don't know what that is, but let's just see. Alright, I'm gonna use the ability to stop this guy. There we go. And advance over here. Is that gonna do it? Ah, we are! Alright, let's go with... This one? I think it scored! There we go! Awesome! We learned how the game works. It is pretty easy so far, to be honest. I was expecting it to be a little bit more difficult, but we way, got it. Here's the city map. You ah, certainly awesome. need it more than I do. But how are we going to find the pieces of that spell you mentioned? Easy! There are seven pieces total. So, we need to convince seven, or rather eight, people to give their piece to us. That's it. And you know who these people are? Vincent, who do you think I am? I wouldn't have asked for your help if I didn't know where to look. Let's see. We have Van, the twins, Umaru-san, Alan, Oswald, Lewis, and of course... Ernest, I mark the places where they usually hang out on your map. Huh. Well, what can you tell me about Van, then? What can you tell me about Van? Oh, he's a handful. A bored Russian aristocrat who is so lazy that he cannot even scratch his noble nose. I'm sure you will love him. Oh, definitely. <laughs> Alright, what about the twins? So who are the twins, exactly? Lily and Rose are a weird duo. One is an engineer, the other is an actress... They really despise each other, and it's not clear which sister envies the other one more. I'm sure we'll have so much fun with that one. Not <laughs> one, but two crazy sisters? Sign, Sign me up. up. Alright, um, what about Umaru-san? Tell me more about this Umaru-san. She's a mysterious one, I can tell you that. Always wears a mask that covers her mouth. Huh. Not sure if she's afraid to catch some kind of virus or just hiding something underneath. Maybe we'll find out. I hope not. All right. Uh, what about Ellen? What about Ellen? Ellen is the host of the local radio station. Nobody knows her very closely, but we definitely need to be extra careful with her. Why? <clears throat> she never leaves her studio, but somehow knows everything about all the Tavalanders. Cool, but creepy. Exactly. <laughs> all right. Uh, what about Oswald? What do you have on Oswald? Not much. 
Apart from the fact that he breeds rabbits. I don't know how and why he does it, but there's that. All right, and what about Lewis? Do you know anything about Lewis? Well, he's a jazz musician, and the ladies love him. I'm not sure if I admire the guy or hate him for it. Probably both. <laughs> All right, uh, and what about Ernest? Is there something I need to know about Ernest? Unfortunately, yes. He's going to be the toughest cookie to crack. What's so special about him? Ernest is the ultimate Bell and Bones champion. I don't know if he's really that good or just a crook, but during his time here he has become very powerful. Think mob boss or a dictator. That's the kind of guy he is. Can't wait to meet him. So I'm gonna be guessing I'm gonna have to uh, defeat him in Bell and Bones in order to uh, get what I want from him. What can you tell me about Fida though? Can you tell me more about Fida? Well, she's stunning, but I'm sure you noticed that already. She also makes a very mean margarita. Very mean. Other than that, <laughs> you should ask her yourself. She doesn't bite most days. She makes a very mean margarita, which probably is a hint for me to have to go to her and ask for margarita. Do you come here often? Do you come here often? Often? I practically live here. It's the best place to write, you know. Ah, all those miserable people drinking themselves into oblivion. So tragic, yet so beautiful. I draw so much inspiration from human anguish. All this <laughs> drama, when you could just have a drink. That's the difference between you and me, Vincent. I live and breathe drama, and you just want to be left alone with a glass in your hand. To each their own. <laughs> All right, um, and I think that is All about right. it. Let's get going. Ready when you are. Perfect, that was pretty cool. Uh, let us see what we can do here. What about these two fellas? Aren't they too old for places like this? Nope, I guess not. Oh, can I maybe change? Oh, no, I can't really interact with it. Well, in that case, hold up. I see that this fellow has a mask, but I'm pretty sure this is not the dude that I was uh, supposed to chat with. Let me, what the? Look at that. <laughs> that is weird. Uh, so as I was saying, let me see if I can interact with Fida. It's impressive how well she's adapted here. Ah, uh, yes, Fida is amazing. Do you need anything? So, what did you do to Beatrice? So, what did you do to Beatrice? Me? <laughs> Nothing at all. We only met briefly, but uh, she seemed very nice to me. And why are you here? Because I needed to escape. I called, and she answered. Huh. I think I, I understand. Think I understand. <laughs> Fortunately for you, I think you don't. But thanks for not prying. <laughs> Well, how old do you know Nick? How well do you know Nick? Mm, quite well. He can be very annoying, but I know he has a good heart. So, you better be good to him or I'll make a kebab out of you. <laughs> Love it. Don't worry, he's in good hands. Don't worry, he's in good hands. Good. If he ever gets on your nerves, just ignore him. Works like a charm. Besides, <laughs> good to know. I don't think you'd make a good kebab. Too skinny. <laughs> you two realize uh, that I love can it. hear you, right? And I am not annoying. <laughs> yep, just ignore him. <laughs> I hate you both. <laughs> awesome. Alright, so I couldn't really ask for a margarita. That's kind of what I was hoping for, to be honest. Hmm. Drunken man. You can only check him out. These fellas are playing cards, cards here. Guess I'll get lucky in love then. Or Bell and Bones. Works fine for me. Is this Toad from freaking That's not Star Wars? Like you're used to, huh? <laughs> Alright, I think uh, this one kind of also looks I'll like Dracula. I assume it's red wine. Uh, exactly. Alright, well, I guess uh, we are all good here. I think I'm gonna have to um, go on to a new place. Why Arabesque? Oh, I think it has something to do with ballet. And Fida loves ballet. All right, let's get out of here then. Ah, oh, because we have a map. Look at that. We can actually explore all these places. So there's a Roman park, uh, a Roman shop, a park, market, a sister's house, the dark valley, 
uh, Ali actually, Jazz Club, Casino, oh man, so many places. And what is really great about this is that uh, even if you get stuck to one of these locations, you can always go back and forth, back and forth to different chapters. Uh, so I guess I'm going to be starting up on the left side, radio station? Yeah, sure. Waterland Radio. I wonder, how does the whole thing with waves work here? What waves? I see no waves. I mean the radio waves, dumbass. The radio has <laughs> waves? Do you not know how radio signal works? Why, with magic, obviously. And I refuse to believe anything else. Oh, God. I'll explain it to you later. <laughs> All right, I do see a ball of yarn, so let me just collect this one. Lucky me. Oh, God, we got three already. Huh. That is pretty lucky. This cat looks sad. Maybe it just needs a break. Maybe. Uh, what about this sign? A heart graffiti. Trivial, but cute. Now, can I go to the left side? No. Okay, okay. In that case, um, apparently I'm going to need a code if I want to get inside here, though. Is that you? Uh, it's Vincent, the new guy. I need to talk it's to Vincent, you. It's Vincent, the new guy. I need to talk to you. Vincent, the new guy? I think I heard about you. What do you want, then? I just want to talk. That's all. Yeah, um, I don't think I can let you in. But why? Ellen, right? Um, yeah, let's go with that. Ellen, right? Listen, there's something important I need to talk to you about, but you have to let me in. Hmm. All right, Vincent. Let's hear what you have to say. Man, the voiceover, the voice acting is really good. Oh, there we go. We got in. Awesome. All right, let's have a chat with her. Before you say anything else, please tell me you're an expert at fixing radio towers. Oh, God. Sorry to disappoint, but no, I'm not. That means I'm totally, irrevocably screwed. <sighs> Whatever. I'm Ellen Ein, the proud host of the only radio station here in Whateverland. Huh. Charmed. Never heard of uh, any radio. Never mind. <laughs> I pressed the wrong button. The tower is broken, dummy. Otherwise, you'd hear my voice practically everywhere. It would haunt you in your sleep by now. All right. That's creepy. That's creepy. Good. Before you start talking about why you're here and all that, I have a question to ask. What is it? Can I call you Vinny? You absolutely cannot. <laughs> Sad, but expected. Can I? Don't you dare. <laughs> oh, okay. Can I? Vinny. <laughs> totally worth it. Love oh, it. Definitely. All right. What happened to the radio tower? What happened to the radio tower? Do I look like I know? It's not working, that's all I can say for sure. And no one has seen Harold since he banished himself to the junkyard. I can't believe anyone would ever want to go back there. Hmm. So maybe Harold is the one that could actually fix it. The problem with Harold is that he actually fell with Helly. So, um, probably not gonna meet him again? I don't know. <laughs> actually, they cannot die, so never mind. Why not? It's quite charming. Why not? It's quite charming. You're joking, right? I can't tell if you are, but I'll just assume that. Thank you very much. <laughs> when I first got here, it was nothing but a cold, dark wasteland. No way I'm ever going back there. Besides, he's supposed to help me with the tower, not play with that useless half rotten toy. Hmm. Uh, I can't imagine why he left. I can't imagine why he left. Me too. Oh, this is a nightmare. So, what's the story? So, what's your story? Oh, you won't ever believe it. So, wait, are you trying to <laughs> sniff out some info so you can blackmail me or use that knowledge for any other selfish purpose, which, just so you know, I totally get, but don't want to give anyone the advantage? Uh... You got me. You got me. I knew you were sketchy, and I'm never, ever wrong about these things. Well, and all other things, if I'm completely honest. So... Are you going to tell me how you ended up here, or...? Sure, why not? So, before I ended up here, <laughs> I have been writing for this cute local website. You know, the kind where you can find out what type of sandal you are. Then, all sorts of strange things began to happen in our town. And of course, I had to investigate. After all, how else was I supposed to get promoted? Susan has always hated me. She was such a... Ellen. Right. So, all the cats in town suddenly disappeared. Weird, huh? And not only did they disappear, each one of them left a farewell note to their owner. A note from a cat. <laughs> I think I know where this I is going. I think I know where this is going. 
Yes, sadly, that was the most exciting part. As soon as I started making progress, Beatrice got me. Guess she wasn't happy about those little articles of mine. She sent you here just because you were investigating her. That's a bit too harsh. Everyone is afraid of the truth, Vincent. Even witches? Especially them. Alright, so that is how she got in here. Interesting. Uh, your accent seems a little Your off. accent seems off. Let me ask you something. Are you familiar with the Golden Rule? Uh, no. Not really. Not really. Never question a girl's accent. <laughs> Alright, I'm looking for the pieces of the spell. I'm looking for the pieces of the spell that summons Beatrice. Nick mentioned you had one of those. And he's totally right. I do. It's just, um... Oh, I don't get why would anyone want to summon that old hag. The only good thing that she ever gave us were the book ashes. These guys are cute, but that's it. Other than that, she's completely useless. Hmm. Well, why do you think she's useless? Why do you think she's useless? I mean, she could have done anything with this world. To have it made out of cotton candy or inhabited by the coolest magical creatures. Or both. Even a cyberpunk aesthetic would be better than this. I'd look sick as a cyborg, don't you think? <laughs> I would actually love to see that. Uh, well, you look great. You look sure. great, for sure. Exactly. Anyway, I would love to give it to you. I really would. But desperate times call for desperate measures, so... Let me guess. I'll have to fix the radio tower for you first, right? Bingo! Don't get me wrong, I really don't want to take advantage of the situation. But that's how it works in Whateverland. You scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. <laughs> Fine. I expect it, of course. It. But let's skip the scratching part. Brilliant. <laughs> I knew you wouldn't abandon a woman in need of some brute force. Or whatever it is that can fix that thing. Alright. Now, if I'm not mistaken, there was like a joke there about uh, Cyberpunk 2077, but I didn't check it out. Do people really listen to radio in this place? Do people really listen to the radio in this place? Does that surprise you? Most people here are lonely, and the only thing keeping them from giving into despair is listening to my beautiful voice every day for the rest of eternity. <laughs> At least that's how I like to think about it. So you are the only journalist here? I wouldn't yep. call it journalism. I'm more of an entertainer, you know? Sure, I talk about everything that happens in town, Bell and Bones tournaments, Eddie's poetry nights, Ernest and his crew being annoying per usual, things like that. But mostly I just talk. Now that I think of it, you could compare my job to that of a therapist. But better, obviously. <laughs> All right, I Vincent. Uh, sure. Not Vincent, actually. All right, Ellen, I look into it. Anything. All right, so uh, apparently I have a quest. I do have to go ahead and try to fix up uh, the radio. Ooh. I just got myself a cassette tape, apparently. I used to dream of being a voice actor. So, what happened? Have you not had enough time to appreciate my emotional range? Don't be so hard on yourself. I think you'd make a pretty good tree. Or a mountain. <laughs> what? A talking mountain, that is? I've always wondered, why do people need so many monitors when they only have one head? In whatever <laughs> land, you can have as many hats as you like. That's... Good to know. That is good to know. All right, uh, we do have a oscilloscope over here, but I'm not sure exactly what I'm supposed to do with this. Apparently, I can interact with it, but nothing's happening. I haven't seen a TV this old in years. Then I must seem ancient to you. Well, <laughs> you are. Shh. I must seem ancient Don't to you. It for me. <laughs> What's the point of vinyl if it's just hanging on the wall? Exactly. Exactly my point. Um, hmm. Yeah, we cannot really do anything here, so in order to fix up the radio, I'm guessing I gotta use the ladder over here. Yeah, let's just see what's do up with this. Do you have any idea how to fix a radio tower? Not nope. a single one. Do you? Nope. Wait! Ellen mentioned an instruction Harold left here somewhere. I'm ah. sure it will make our lives easier. Or confuse us even further. Or that. An instruction that Harold left around here somewhere. I mean, we do have a recorder. Uh, hold up a minute. Uh, wait, where's the cassette tape that I had? Hmm. This is supposed to help us fix the tower. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm not sure exactly what I'm doing, to be honest. Oh, I think what I'm supposed to do is just bounce the radio transmission. That's what I'm supposed to do. This one is also apparently movable. 
don't know exactly what I gotta do. Hmm. What a great view. Oh yes, very romantic. I would have never thought a prison could be so beautiful. Well, it's Warden has a good taste. <laughs> all right, all right, buddy. Let me see if I can actually check this recorder. Ah, so we got instructions and my song. Let's just listen to the song first. Uh, hold up, how do we open this up? Uh, recording two. Oh, there we go. There we go. Open it up. Oh God, this sounds so bad. <laughs> oh no, stop that. All right, let's listen to the instructions. Listen up, Missy. There is a control center below the main antenna and that manages all the antennas in the city. The network is old and rubbish. So if one of the antennas fails or if some idiot moves it even a tiny bit, the whole chain will be interrupted. If that happens, You'll have to restore the chain. To do that, you open the control center and carefully, and I repeat, carefully, connect all the antennas so that they form a chain that begins and ends at the radio tower. Just remember uh. that the signals must not cross, ever. And if one of the antennas fails completely and you can't even get access to it, which is entirely possible, knowing our fellow whatever landers. Well, that means one thing. <laughs> You're screwed. <laughs> Until I'm back, of course. Until I'm back, of course. Oh, and by the way, I finished the safe you asked for. The one that looks like a fake oscilloscope. Remember? I painted it yellow, so you don't confuse it with a regular one. Anyway, I've got to finish this up. And head to the junkyard. Good luck, Missy. <laughs> Alright, so we know how uh, repairing the device is gonna be like. The problem is, uh, one of the radio towers apparently is broken. Which means, I gotta go fix it. And I think if I'm not mistaken, it's actually gonna be right here in the park. And here's the broken satellite dish. Yep, that's why the satellite is not working. Are you kidding me, lady? What the heck? <laughs> All right, anyway, guys, this has been Whatever Land, and uh, I cannot wait for you guys to try this game out. Um, the game is going to be coming out very, very soon, so stay tuned on the channel here for the next episode, as we're definitely going to keep on playing the game. I'm currently having a blast with this one, and I cannot wait to actually keep on exploring the game here as much as we can, as uh, I'm kind of loving this. But that being said, guys, thank you all very much for watching, and as usual, if you guys enjoyed this and want to see more of like this in the future, make sure you hit on that like button below, subscribe, add the game to your wish list, following the link down below in the description. And with that being said, see you soon. Bye, everybody.